I've tried to survey people on ray tracing, just kind of like offline, like people I know. I just like the people who, gamers that I talk to, I'll go in and I'll ask them, "What do you guys think of ray tracing?" Half of them don't have a strong opinion, and then some of them hate it. Some of them like think it's cool, and then some of them think that it's well okay the ones that think it's cool don't even use it that's the thing it's funny because it's like they'll go and they'll buy an nvidia gpu and they won't even use the ray tracing like what why did you buy the nvidia gpu if you're not even going to use any of the marketed things like what huh <laughs> like you bought an nvidia gpu to play league of legends like what why <laughs> like what <laughs> who goes and buys an RTX 5070 Ti for League of Legends, you know? But people, I don't know, people are going to do what they're going to do. They're going to spend the money, like, however their brain decides to figure out how they need to, like, you weigh the pros and cons, like, oh, my GPU died, I got to go buy a new one. Uh, the 5070 Ti has better ray tracing performance slightly than the 4070 Ti and the 9070 XT, and I'm going to go and buy one so I can play League of Legends. Yeah, okay. That sounds like... Yeah, that's totally a reason to justify to go spend $800 on a brand new GPU so you can play League of Legends, of all things. Because that totally needs that level of GPU. Like, what do you think of Ray Tracing? Oh, I think it's cool. Do you use it? No. Uh, does... Or I'll get the question like, does the game I play use Ray Tracing? And if so, how do I, how do I look for it? What? Like, how do you, what do you mean look for it? Look for the setting of how to turn it on or how to determine if the ray tracing effect is happening or like, what the heck? <laughs> like, dude, I'm telling you, the gamers are all over the place, all over the place. You'll come across gamers that know nothing about technology when it comes to rendering techniques. They're just there to play the games. We're just going to play Marvel Rivals. We don't care about ray tracing. We're here to play Marvel Rivals. We don't care. Okay, we're going to play League of Legends. We don't care about ray tracing. We're here to play League of Legends. You know what I'm saying? Like, we're playing PUBG right now. We ain't going to drop our frame rate by like 30 FPS because we're playing PUBG and we're going to win. So we're going to turn off the rate. We're not going to use ray tracing for real. Like, that's how it, <laughs> that's, that's the response I get, man. That's the response I get. So I've given up. I've given up trying to, like, evangelize people about ray tracing because the average person that I come across, that's the sort of stuff that I have to deal with. You know what I'm talking about? Like, that. what I just described is the type of the average that I come across. I'm not saying that's, like, everyone. I'm just saying that's, like, the vast majority of the time I come across trying to, like, explain to people about rendering techniques in games, it's so obvious that the people, the vast majority of people playing the games literally could care less. They literally could care less. All they want to do is play Genshin Impact, or if not Genshin Impact, they want to play uh, League of Legends or PUBG or Valorant, and they don't care about ray tracing in a game like PUBG because it hurts their FPS, and they want max FPS, so it's like, whatever, okay, it's like ray tracing, okay, that's a cool little gimmick, I'm not actually going to use it, you know, <laughs> like, I'm sorry, but that's just how it is, that's just how it is, so I've just given up, I've literally just given up on that kind of stuff.